Hello and welcome, and today we'll be checking out 10 homes across the United States for the price range of about $750 to $775,000. The links for all these homes are down below. These homes are going to be in Chula Vista, California, Vancouver, Washington, St. George, Utah, Phoenix, Arizona, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Littleton, Colorado, Vineyard, Utah, Montgomery, Texas, Franklin, Tennessee, and Orlando, Florida. Okay, first up is Chula Vista, California. This is a suburb of San Diego. Compared to the rest of the country, this is a pretty expensive town to live in. And so this will be the smallest home on the list. This home is pretty new, built in 2013. Pretty nice looking kitchen. The home is part of an HOA, so you'll have all those fees, but you also get the clubhouse amenities. San Diego is a pretty nice town. It's a very expensive area to live in. But we're, let's go see what happens if we take that purchasing price and compare it to the rest of the country. Okay, next up is Vancouver, Washington. This is just north of Portland, Oregon. In Portland, you'll find shopping like Washington Square and Old Downtown. You'll have lots of great food around there. There's activities like the Oregon Zoo and other museums. This home is about 500 square feet more than the first one. It's on a real lot with a real backyard. The area has lots of outdoor activities available. Vancouver is right on the Columbia River, so you'll be able to go boating and sailing and fishing. You're also next to the Cascade Mountains where you'll find camping and hiking and skiing. One of the ski resorts there is called Timberline and it boasts the longest ski season in the country, sometimes staying open all year round. Okay, so the third home up is in St. George, Utah. This is in the southwest corner of Utah. The winters are not as cold as some of the other areas in Utah, but the summers are going to be hot, normally in the 90s, some days getting into the hundreds. This house is about 1,000 square feet more than the first house. Looks like it might have some room to park an RV off to the side. I might want to change some of the finishes though. They look a little dated for my taste, but the kitchen looks pretty awesome. This area has got a lot going for it. it. Has great golf courses with views of red rocks, mountains, and desert landscapes. You can have a great day fishing and boating at Sand Hollow Reservoir or Quail Lake or Lake Powell. There's lots of walking and jogging all over the area. And this area is not too far away from my favorite national parks, Zion. You're gonna have a great time hiking there. And the fourth home we got is Phoenix, Arizona. If you're wondering what the weather is like here, just know they install pool coolers in this area. This is the desert and it's gonna be hot here. The area average is 107 days over 100 degrees, but the winters average in the highs of about the 60s. This home is 1,200 square feet more than the first house, coming in at 3,526 square feet. It's a big house. Three car garage, big kitchen with a huge island. Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the United States by population. So you're gonna have a variety of things to do and see here. Some of the highlights are the Musical Instrument Museum, South Mountain Park, and the Desert Botanical Garden. I've been to the last one. It is amazing. The U.S. Census Bureau's 2002 report ranked Arizona as the top three states for inbound migration, and Phoenix as the top city from 2016 to 2019. Okay, fifth up is Albuquerque, New Mexico. This home is also about 1,200 square feet more than the San Diego home, so it's big and spacious. The kitchen has the biggest fridge I've seen out of the homes I looked at today. There are nice wooden doors throughout the house. It's on a larger lot. The lot is 0.89 acres. All of the homes have similar lots in the area, so you have good space from your neighbors. Albuquerque has a population of about 564,000 people. It is the 32nd most populous state in the United States. So there's a lot going on here. 
You can expect hot summers and mild winters. There's great hiking like the La Luza Trail and the Pino Trail. Also near Albuquerque is Santa Fe with high-end shopping and restaurants. Even though it's deserty, there are a few ski resorts in the area like Ski Santa Fe and Taos, both just a day trip away. The city is famous for its International Balloon Fiesta. Okay, for the next two homes, we're going to head north to the Rocky Mountain area. And first, we're going to check out Littleton, Colorado. This is a subdivision of Denver, being just south of the downtown. This home is about 1,700 square feet more than the first home. It's an older home, built in 1968, but it must have been updated because it doesn't look like it. We have hardwood floors, granite countertops, and stainless steel appliances. Outdoors, there is a great entertainment area with a patio, fire pit, and hot tub. The Denver metro area has 2.8 million people, so there's a lot going on here. There are a lot of nice parks in the area, like Kettering Park, Reynolds Landing, and Chatfield State Park. The Rocky Mountains are less than two hours drive away, and have world-class hiking and skiing, such as the Arapaho and Roosevelt National Forest and Breckenridge Ski Resort. Okay, up 7th is Vineyard, Utah. This is about 39 miles south of Salt Lake City. The home is about 2,000 square feet more than the San Diego home. It is built in 2018 and everything still looks new. Kitchen is very clean looking, hardwood floors. Vineyard is an excellent safe area. The vineyard crime rate is about 82% below the national average with violent crime coming in 88% lower. There are lots of outdoor activities in the Wasatch mountain range. The trails near Sundance look amazing. Central City is known for its lively restaurants, musical venues, and art galleries. For the last three homes, we're going to look at the east side of the Sun Belt. The homes here are a lot less expensive, so these are going to be big homes. First up is Montgomery, Texas. This city is just north of Houston and is about 55 mile drive between the two. The house is large, 4,675 square feet. That is 2,450 square feet larger than the first one. It was built in 2016 and everything still looks great. Hardwood floors, bright and airy kitchen, built-in outdoor barbecue workspace. Montgomery, Texas is hot and humid during the summer. But if you can live with that, you're gonna find a place with a lower cost of living and no state income tax. So maybe take summer vacations with the money you're gonna save. There are a lot of outdoor activities in the area, but if you want big city attractions, then you're going to have to drive to Houston. Nearby, Lake Comaru is the perfect place for fishing, boating, and swimming. And if you'd like to see more comparisons of homes across the United States, please subscribe to this channel. We are going to put out at least one video a week. And up knife, we have Franklin, Tennessee. This 1999 built home is 3,907 square feet, about 1,600 square feet more than the first home on the list. It is located on a full acre at the end of a court. It has a five car garage, large porch. The layout has more of a formal look than the other homes we've seen, but it is a really big home. The downtown Franklin area is a historic area with restaurants, galleries, and shops. It's about 30 minutes from Nashville. Nashville is a big metro with about 1.9 million people, with a lively bar scene, lots of local coffee shops, plenty of barbecue joints, great music scene, and a great employment environment. And last up is Orlando, Florida. This home is on one fourth of an acre and was built in 1989. It is a 2,729 square foot house. 
So only about 500 square feet more than the San Diego house. The house has a light colored hardwood floor, two and a half baths, granite countertops, and a pool. Orlando, Florida is a family destination and has a lot of stuff in the area. Home to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. For seven months of the year, the average temperature is about 70 degrees, but the hottest month has only an average of 82 degrees. The cost of living in Florida is great. There's no income tax. This is a good place to live. So that's it for today. If you live in an expensive area like San Diego, let me know. Do you find any of these other areas compelling to move to? Or are you just too in love with where you live now? Let me know down below. Links to all these homes are also below. Thank you.